I'm going to talk about Zipkin here. So what is Zipkin here? Zipkin is a distributed tracing system. So that will help gather like timing data that needed to troubleshoot your latency problems in your service architectures. Okay. So basically, if you're already having trace ID in your log files, you can directly jump directly to it. And otherwise, you can query like based on attributes such as service name. Okay or like operation name tags so etc like we can define and we can trace the okay requests here okay and apart from this uh, this will provide like dependency diagram okay so this is will show you like how many tracer requests went through each application right okay so this can be helpful for like identifying aggregated behavior including like error paths or like calls deprecated of your services here okay so basically to work with this basically we need to uh, uh, make it up this server and run in your local system okay so we have two options one is like we can download the zipkin server otherwise we can use the docker zipkin here okay so you can just use this docker command okay and let's open this and just run this okay so i already uh, downloaded this image in my machine okay if you see here this image is already downloaded that is the reason it is directly started my container okay so here you can see the container is also is running successfully on this 9411 port number okay so now let's hit this endpoint 9411 you can see zipkin server information here so okay. here this is the spring initializer right so i am going to take like one of the um, service here so let me uh, let me create like one of the service here techno town techie okay and zipkin service integration okay and apart from this i need web dependency and after that i need eureka client i need to register with Eureka and after that we need Zipkin here okay and let's take Lombok as well for setters and getters and generate this project so if you open this Zipkin right so let's select this Zipkin so basically uh, here yeah so this Zipkin will comes along with like three uh, dependencies one is like micrometer another one is zipkin reporter brave and after that actuator also is required okay actuator so these three dependencies will required for this um, zipkin okay and i downloaded this project let's extract this Now let's open palm.xml file. So you will see three dependencies here. Okay. So now I would like to add one dependency that is webflex dependency. So I'm going to make use web client here to call like from uh, this service, Zipkin service to okay product service here. So here let's open and let's create package here. Okay. So let's create model package inside the model package so this uh, product class is already available here okay in the product service i'm going to copy that same product class from here to my zipkin service okay and let's paste here okay so this product will have id name and price so let's create okay so uh, configuration inside configuration package okay so i'm going to create a web client okay configuration here let's uh, now let's maximize this and let's annotate with a lot of configuration and we need to create one of the bean right let's uh, create the bean so that is public so web uh, client okay so this could be web client builder so web client um, here web client okay so let's return this that's it so now so we need to create controller here right so let's create controller inside this controller package 
uh, I'm to we add like some sample controller here okay so let's maximize this here at the rate of uh, rest controller and after that request mapping okay so here let's add sampler here okay now we need to create like one of the method here okay so in the spring cloud load balancing i just added uh, the same method to call like product service so i'm going to make use that same method so instead of wasting time i will copy that same method okay this is the method and going back to our jipkin service okay paste this and let's import this product and here we need mm, web client builder should be auto wide here let's private and web client builder okay and here the client builder and let's auto wire this okay let's copy this and paste here okay so here actually we need to provide um, local host url instead of okay service name because i'm not going to use the load balancing in this service okay so that's it and our service is ready now we need to add like some a tracing related configuration in our application dot properties file that is application dot ml file so before that uh, i need to provide like some service name right so um, spring application name so i'm going to provide like uh, jipkin okay service here and after that uh, i need to provide some server port number okay uh, let's take 7761 here and after that uh so we need to add uh management tracing okay so we have sampling probability so this probability could be like 100 percent we need to define like 1.0 that is 100 percent here okay and after that we need to register with like eureka server right so uh, what i'm going to do is in the load balancing okay so we already registered right so let's copy this eureka client uh url here and let's going back to jipkin service and let's add this okay that's it and once we added this all the configuration right so we need to add this jipkin uh, related configuration to our product service and Europa server as well okay so uh, i already added to save the time okay so actuator first we need to add the dependency in the Eureka server and after that in the application.ml file we need to add this tracing probability and going back to our product service here also uh, in the product service also i just added in the palm.xml file okay this dependencies and application.ml file also i just added this management tracing probability okay so let's test this scenario so and we will trace the requests by using okay jipkin here first let's start the eureka server and after that product service okay and after that our jipkin service here okay now going back to uh, our eureka server here let's refresh this and you will see the jipkin distributed service here right and here so we have added sampler right let's hit this let's hit this multiple times and going back to jipkin run this you will see okay some information related to our services root start time of uh, our request and spans span ids and duration here okay so let's expand this you will see okay all the dependencies services details here apart apart from this we will have like show button as well so here you will see the service related information what kind of service information is it what kind of um, http request it uh, get or post or like put here and we have a span id for each service and after that we have a trace id for request okay so with the help of this trace id as well we can search here so let's going back to uh, our root page and let's paste here hit this okay so it will uh, route to this uh, page here with the help of this trace id okay and uh, one more thing let's hit couple of times here you will expand and you will see so this http get method is calling like eureka server as well so you will see services names as well okay 
and how much time it has been taken okay at what time it has been started and what are the sp span it is we have two span it is right area the server and jipkin service let's click on show you will see two span it is the first one is this span id okay uh, jipkin service another one is like this is your server okay so like this you can capture all the information here and apart from this we have a dependencies okay so here you will see a start time and end time you can define the start time and end time as well let's click on run query you will see the nice diagram here okay and jipkin uh, here we have a two services jipkin service integration and product services integrated with eureka server okay so let's click on this eureka server so this will show you some diagram so like uh, it is uh, actually this eureka server has like two services are used one is like product service another one is jipkin service that's what it is showing here okay and uh, if you want like filter the services you can filter here so instead of eureka you can take jipkin okay so you will see the single service and product service okay otherwise eureka server you will see like this okay nice diagram and data also it is flowing and it is showing like this okay so uh, that's it friends so if you like this video please go ahead and like if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks for watching